Hey, hi everybody. Welcome, hey, it's Christmas time. Oh yeah, it's Christmas time. A lot of Christmas music for you. And good to have you there tuned in. And we're going to get into the singing. I have a lot of Christmas songs for you. And I'm going to call on Linda. And uh, what song What song do you have here, Linda? I'm going to try When Christ Was Born. But before I do, I'd like to say a Merry Christmas to Bill Hall. And I've been thinking of him a lot. I've been thinking of Sid a lot and myself. Yes. It's never easy to lose someone you love. That's right. And the holidays make it seem so much worse than what it is. Yeah. But with God's help, we will all get through. Amen. And hopefully 2021 will be a much better year than we've had in the past. When Christ was born. When Christ was born in Bethlehem's lowly manger, when angel hosts brought tidings from on high, the shepherds gazed in fear and awesome wonder, while songs of joy. Good. Now 
I'm going to try Happy Birthday Jesus. got a dedication I found out my cousin lives in Illinois Kathy and Art Ellswick they catch us on Facebook and my dad's sisters Aunt Martha Fry in Michigan Aunt Wanda we call her June ain't told Leesburg Ohio and Uncle Butch and Leesburg, McDaniel's his last name, and Aunt Mary Holly in Columbus, Ohio. So Merry Christmas to all of you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. And you all can help me sing it, Silent Night.
right, thank you, Evan. Thank you. And um, to carry on and see if he's uh, back to the microphone and see what he's got this time. Well, I've got a song here that we've been doing on Christmas. Usually do this song. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's for the kids. Christmas is for kids anyway. And uh, one of the 92. <laughs> <laughs> They're right on from zero right on up. <laughs> The children of the world, every boy and every girl, have a bigger and better Christmas day. They all need a pile in somebody's heart. Since Christmas is for kids. Christmas. 
Christmas for everybody. Everybody, old and young. <laughs> I, you know, make I think make any difference how old you get. You still enjoy Christmas, absolutely. Yes. All right. That's All right. We got another old song here, Dan. <clears throat> I'm sure you remember this one. <clears throat> Is this an E or F? It's in the E chord. E? Yeah, E. Okay. Empty Christmas stocking. Yeah. Go ahead. You ready? It was near the Christmas season when a thousand different toys were displayed upon the counter of the store. You could hear the shouts and laughter of the happy girls and boys, and the Christmas lights were flashing more than all. When suddenly
Street so I Happy Christmas talking to you. Again, folks, Merry Christmas to you folks. Merry Christmas. May you have one of this filled with your blessings, the warmth of Christmas and my spirit. And always remember how Christmas got started. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to go next with the trio. Okay, let's find out what they're singing. Okay, we're going to sing C-H-R-I-S-T-M-A-S. That spells Christmas. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're singing about, and at this time of the season, I want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. And it'll be here about, what, Friday? Going to Friday this year, I believe. So much is happening, I can't remember, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Okay, I think. <laughs> but I wish you a very Merry Christmas, and thank you for watching, and God bless you. walking around here in between <laughs> the cameras and everything. We have a good time here. Okay, uh, Dan changed it on me. I'll do the first Noel first.
it was in the wrong key, but we sang it. I got through it. I like Christmas songs, but they are a little bit hard for me sometimes to sing. I do my best. Knowing you'll be there. The other day I passed the place you always like to go. I picked up the phone to call. I thought you'd want to know. But I Your mind, when you're singing these songs, goes to your family that's not here anymore. Yeah. And um, you're reminiscing on the past, knowing I would see your face again where tender moments last. And that'll be the day when we get there and yeah. have joy and peace with everybody. That's right. Yeah, okay. All right, thank you, Faith. All right, we're going to uh, go uh, back with Betty and uh, see what she's got for us. I'm going to try to do Born to Die. Born to Die. Keep 
came to earth a promise to fulfill a rugged cross he bore on Calvary's heel he came to earth for his precious life to Jesus went through in this life. Yeah. What great, great, great things he performed that only he could do. Yeah. And then I think of how many people hated him. Well, I think they still do. After all the great things he did and performed, then he died on that cross for me, for you, for everybody, that we could go to heaven and be with him and be, have our sins forgiven. Amen. <laughs> That's great. All right, Sid. I know you got another good one there. Yeah. I can get Christmas get away from us and stop singing this song. Yeah. <laughs> Came up on the midnight clear. Yes, sir. That's one of the old standby songs. <laughs> Through. 
Si vous voulez. I heard a story about a woman who was out Christmas shopping with her two children. Well, after many hours of looking at row after row of toys and everything else imaginable, and after hours of hearing both her children asking for everything they saw on those many shelves, well, she finally made it to the elevator with her two kids. She was feeling what so many of us feel during the holiday season time of the year, overwhelming pressure to go to every party, every housewarming, taste all the holiday foods and treats, getting that perfect gift for every single person on our shopping list, making sure we don't forget anyone on our card list, and the pressure of making sure we respond to everyone who sent us a card. Well, finally the elevator doors opened and there was already a crowd in the car she pushed her way into the car and dragged her two kids in with her and all the bags of stuff. And when the doors closed, well, she just couldn't take it anymore and stated, whoever started this whole Christmas thing should be found, strung up, and shot. Well, from the back of the car, everyone heard a quiet, calm voice respond, don't worry, we already crucified him. For the rest of the trip down, the elevator was so quiet you could have heard a pin drop. Don't forget this year to keep the one who started this whole Christmas thing in your every thought, deed, purchase, 
and word. If we all did it, just think of how different this whole world would be. That's all, folks. Merry Christmas.